TC Creo Parametric 3.0, Lesson 10, Part 3. The last part of this lesson, we're going to cover how to do a clamp ball, and we're going to use a template that we create. So we're going to click New, New Drawing, and this is going to be your detail format. Remember to follow the steps in the book. Uncheck the default here. Click OK. Oh, I already used that word. So change the name to detail format. OK. Browse till you get to the ball part. I've already got it in there. And we're going to click on empty with format and browse to your A format. Click OK. Tools tab, and we're going to select Template and Template View. And here we're going to make sure that we have the dimensions and the scale selected. So this is going to be front now, but we're going to change it to top. So the default was front. Make sure you change that or you won't get the proper view. We're going to go to two times the scale. Model display will have no hidden line. Tangent edge display will have none. And with dimensions, let's go with 0.5 as the distance between dimensions. Place view. And we're going to put it right in the middle of our sheet in the working area. So save it. OK. And what we want to do is close this and start a drawing. And this drawing is going to be for the clamp ball. I'm putting a unique name in it. Uncheck Use Default Template. We're going to click Use Template here and then Browse. And we're going to use the one we just created. open. OK. And it's going to display the model, in this case the clamp ball, and it's going to display everything that was used in its construction because we've had all these dimensions shown <clears throat> when we showed annotation on the model. If they're not there, you can go to Annotate, Show Model Annotations, click on the view, so you can see nothing's coming up, but in yours it might. Here, click on the view, and it looks like our axes or center line we want to show. And make sure you select note just in case. See the note here comes up? So select that and apply. And that should do it. So then we want to clean up everything on here. You want to go back to your layout tab, unlock the view movement. Two methods to do it, of course. And then change where your dimensions are. Now, many of these dimensions aren't required. We've got this giant note here. It's got everything in it. I'm just going to move it out here for now. <clears throat> Take a good look at what everything else is showing here. Now, one of the things is I did put down uh, no hidden lines. If you double click on here, we can go in and display, and we can put on hidden lines. So we can see the interior. We can also make this into a section. We did that with the foot. So if we look here closely, I'll click on my annotate tab. Remember, I can always use my filters over here, and I pick on dimension, and that's the only thing it allowed me to select. So the angle, I'm just going to hit my delete key. The thread information, the hole here. and the 90 degree. And the scale of the drawing, I think I'm going to take that off. All right. And I can't, it's, sometimes it's hard to select something. And again, you can go over here and you can pick on datum. And then the only thing that's going to allow you to select on is the datum. And you can move it around. Just 
and you get the B one. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get it to select for you. And it's giving me a hard time. One of the things I forgot to do is I forgot to turn off my datum features here. So I'm going to turn all of these off, make it a little clearer, a little easier to work with. I'm going to zoom in and find out why I cannot get a hold of this guy very easy. There we go. Sometimes zooming in is very helpful. I think I'll put it on the top here so it's out of the way. And i got to remember to turn that filter off and put it on general so it will select anything I want on the screen. So again, you can clean this up. Got your radius here. And that's the radius that's going to give you. It, you really can't move that over to the other side. Everybody wants to move it over to the other side. You can't do that. All right, so it looks pretty clean. Um, our dimension over here for the, um, for the hole, let's move that back over here maybe. And... Uh, Pretty, pretty good position for it, I guess. And if you wish, you can go in here and you can take a look at edit value and what in there do you not need? Well, the diameter, variable depth, I think that could come out. All of these are oh. put that one back in. Edit it a little bit. Take a look and see what we've got. Looks fairly good. Drill depth. Let's put in a symbol. All right. So you can clean it up if you want. Now, if you want to put a note on here also, that would be one other thing to practice. So you want to be in the annotate note. Click in the position that you want it to go. And put in your note here. Can't remember what I used in the book. I think it's probably a company name. Uh, put in Car Lane. So you can put in Car Lane if you want. And there is your drawing. So this template can be used in any other project. You don't have to use it just here. It's a drawing template that can go and make things a little bit faster and easier. It's only going to give you the top view, though. It's only going to give you what you've selected in the defaults for it. So in some cases, your company might make up five or ten of these so that you, it's a, there's a consistency in your drawings. This completes Lesson 10.